Hi everybody, it's time for your Farm and Ranch news. Well, the latest USDA net farm income report shows a 23% drop in net farm income compared to 2022. And Zippy Duval, president of the American Farm Bureau Federation says that farms and ranches losing a quarter of their income isn't economically sustainable. I'd like to ask how many people, how many households could withstand losing a quarter of their income in two years? It isn't just an economic hiccup for our farms. It's evidence of an agricultural downturn. I've heard from all our farmers and ranchers across the country that they are struggling. The latest census showed that we lost more than 140,000 farms in the last five years. He says there are a number of factors contributing to the downturn. Farmers and ranchers are facing inflation just like every other American family. But we've also got a great deal of severe weather around, plummeting crop prices, and constant changes in regulatory requirements. Our labor, interest, expense, and property taxes are at a record level. On top of all that, our farm safety net that was designed to help our farms manage risk is so outdated that in many cases, it won't even trigger to help family farms face the drop in income. And that's why the American Farm Bureau Federation and other ag three two and one, and that's why the American Farm Bureau Federation and other agricultural organizations say that the net farm income report emphasizes that U.S. farmers and ranchers need a new farm bill sooner rather than later. That's a look at your farm and ranch news. Have a great day.